name is Peter and today I'm going to show you how to get started fly tying. So the first thing you're going to need to pick up from a sportsman's warehouse or offline is a vise. So a vise is going to be used just to clamp the hook in so that it doesn't wiggle around or anything. The second thing you're going to need is a, just a pair of good scissors. There will be fly tying scissors. You can also pick up at a sportsman's warehouse or just anything that will basically cut the line you're going to be using. So the third thing you're going to need is a spindle. And a spindle is used to put a bobbin in, which is a bobbin is just thread of your color choice. And it will snap in just like that in between the two copper reels. And so that is going to be used to put your line onto the thing and let it out consistently. Now, the last main tool you're going to need is what's called a whip finish. Now, this is a little bit of a bigger whip finish, but it's the one that I have and it works for me. So whatever works for you. And I'll make a video later on how to do a whip finish. Now, you're going to need an assortment of other things that will help you, like line, like Basically, any you can use any kind of line that is not cotton, because cotton will just fall apart on you. So polyester, viscose, anything like that. But you can only use a small bobbin like this one. This is the only size that will fit in there. So I pick up for a whole lot cheaper than these. I pick these up at Joanne, which are just a bobbin that is a little bit bigger. So when you run out of line on this, you can fill it up with one of these. So another thing you're going to need is, well, I strongly recommend is more than one of the spindles because if you only have one, then you're constantly changing in and out and in and out and it's kind of annoying. So I prefer to have two or more. Another thing I use just to get the string to stick to the hook more is bow wax, which works perfectly for what I do. And just make sure you have an arrangement of different fly tying um, bobbins. I have gold, I have black, I have all colors that I need. Then another thing you're going to need is just hooks, which I have an assortment of just fishing hooks here. You can use basically any hook you want. I like to debarb them, which you can do that pretty simple with a file or a pair of pliers. Then you can get this ultra chinchilla brown and other colors from sporting warehouse or offline, anything like that. Then for floating flies such as crickets and whatnot that have bigger parts to them, I cut out pieces of cork to make them float easier. So if you have cork on hand, you can get those at a craft store or somewhere. Those will work great. Then you're going to need an assortment of different hairs. I recommend deer hair. Works great for a lot of flies. Works real natural. Feathers of all sorts of colors and sizes. And one great one for tying is peacock feathers. Work real good. Are right, pretty sturdy, strong. White feathers are real good because a lot of flies are going to use some sort of white, whether it's feathers, whether it's line, whether it's the head or abdomen. So I also have the chinchilla large white string, which you can also get this stuff at uh, just like fly tying store or online or something. Then you're going to want also rabbit fur. Chinchilla works real good. That's one of the most common things, but just different assortment of different colors of these little bit, uh, bags of hair. And those are going to be used with um, fly wax, where you'll put some fly wax on the thing, and then you'll rub your fingers back and forth with some hair on the line, and that will make the line become basically fuzzy almost as if it's you're making your own chinchilla white or brown or gray or whatever color of that line. So 
those are some of the basic things you're going to need to get from the store to get started. Feathers are really necessary. I have an assortment of just like craft things, which you can pick basically all of this up at a craft store or whatnot, Joann's, offline, wherever you can find it easiest. So that's about all you'll need. There's one more thing though. You will, for anything that takes a bead head, you will need to get these beads, which you can also get at just a fly store or wherever. And that's about it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another fly tying video.